Saint Nicholas, as he became known throughout the Christian church and throughout Christendom and history, was very, very popular, especially for his love of children. Well, in the German, Dutch, and Low Countries, he was known as Sinterklaas, which means Saint Nicholas. When the traditions of Sinterklaas and the Christmas traditions started spreading worldwide through the Dutch trade and German explorations and everything, English speakers had a really hard time pronouncing it, and they ended up changing it to Santa Claus. You have probably heard of another name associated with Santa Claus, Chris Kringle. Again, we can thank the Germans for that. You see, in the early years before the Reformation, the practice was to exchange gifts with children and family members on the Feast of St. Nicholas, which was December 6th. After the Reformation, Martin Luther decided he wanted to change things up a little bit and he felt that it would be more appropriate to honor the Christmas season by exchanging gifts on Christmas Day in honor of the Christ child, which in German is called Christ Kindle. Well, again, like with Sinterklaas, English speakers had a really hard time pronouncing it, and over time it got changed into Chris Kringle. Now you know.